Patty. I'm with River City Cabinets here in Austin, Texas. I'm a project manager and designer for them, which basically means I meet with the homeowners, help them decide what they want, and then I translate it to the shop so it can get built correctly. And this project here is a, was a wine room that we did for a customer. They had a circular room that they wanted wine cabinets to go all the way around. They said, well, can you do that? And we said, absolutely, uh, no problem. So we have a system for our wine cabinets that we do on our CNC machines so we can automate it as much as possible. And basically what we would normally do for just a flat cabinet is we would have pieces like this that get cut out on the CNC, um, mass, you know, just like five at a time get cut out. And then we have pieces like this that also get cut out on the CNC and get shopped to length. And then they fit together like this. And then we just have a, a wine cabinet stacks up. Um, but this project being circular, we actually had to customize our normal process for the radius cabinets we're going to be on. So what we did is we templated the room, of course, met, got measurements, and then I went back to the um, AutoCAD and drew the room out on floor plan and elevation, and then uh, was able to get all the different cabinet pieces, you know, the tops and the bottoms of the cabinets with AutoCAD, and then also decided uh, how we would do this piece versus this being flat, this needed to be splayed to accommodate the radius of the cabinet. Um, so after we figured out how exactly we were going to do this, then I translated it to AlphaCam, which is the program we use to do uh, all our CNC work on. We decided it took us about a day probably to get this just right because there's a number of programs that we had to run to get you know all the different potatoes and the cutting out and stuff. But after we figured out how we were going to do it, then we gave the program to our CNC operator. It took him about a day, day and a half to cut out everything. You know, there's over, probably over 200, 300 parts and pieces he had to cut out. And then a guy had to sand them all. And then they started building them. And once they uh, had all the parts and pieces, it went fairly quick. Um, you know, all the pieces just fit in like this into one of the uprights. And then there's another upright here. It gets put into the carcass. And then after that, then it's the real more labor intensive part of the face frame, bending the wood, you know, layering up the wood to get the face frame to curve around the radius. And um, one of the trickiest parts actually was this slanted shelf here. That was something that kind of surprised all of us. We thought, uh, no big deal, it's a slanted shelf. I cut out, sent the piece to the CNC machine, and they got the piece, and they're like, that doesn't work. And they cut out another one, but do this and do this with the radius. So I did that. Oh, that doesn't work either. Finally, we figured out that this piece had to be completely custom fit into uh, the cabinet as they were building it, because just because of the fact that it was a radius and a slant, just the weird geometry of it, um, they basically hand did that piece, which was kind of a surprise, but. And then the they final did it. step they were sanding when I came in, they were actually yeah. doing all the edge sanding. Today, yeah, the today they're pretty much finished up. Um, they just they finished all the sanding. They had putty yesterday, I saw they had a bunch of putty on it, sanded it, and I think they're done pretty much. Just ready to go to the house. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome.